I have a carrier infinity furnace. Uh, this is a high efficiency uh, model number is 58 MVC 080. And uh, I had uh, replaced a few parts for this and you will see some of my other videos a few months ago. This furnace was underwater, um, seven feet of water. So everything was uh, submerged in water. And so I had replaced the uh, circuit board. Actually, I got a used circuit board rather than a new one because this warranty would not cover if the uh, it was flooded. And today morning, uh, it's January 2020, I get an error code, which is 25. So I'm going to show you. So if I turn the power on, it will... So that's two and five. So what you saw is it showed me the error code 25 four times and I consulted the manual and I will show in this video what I did to fix it and this is uh, something which is very possible with a new board and not setting up properly. So after I checked tested this one and this is related to the PL4 in the manual and I'll uh, put a link to it or uh, put a screen uh, capture of it. This is what you want to check and I had replaced the circuit board and usually I should uh, replace that PL. So my older circuit board is right here and this comes off actually if you want to move it from your old circuit board to the other one so just make sure that the pins underneath it, it is is connected properly on the new circuit board usually you can switch these uh, for mine it's working fine with the new board and actually the program information is on there so for if you get an error 25 check this first make sure it is seated properly in my case it was not seated properly and that fixed the issue so what actually turned out to be the issue is this was not set up correctly. So you may want to check the, the setting of, this is the PL4 and in the manual you will see it. And this should be not hanging out. In, in my case it was not set correctly and that fixed it. So if you have a 25 error, you may want to try setting this. Again, I have a few more videos on how I fixed this furnace. I had a flood in our basement and this furnace was all underwater. So I had to replace quite a few parts, though I opted for some of the used parts. Otherwise, it's not uh, financially, uh, I would say, savvy to do that. You might want to get a new furnace. But in my case, uh, I was able to get a used board and I have a video for that and uh, this was like $40 on eBay and also the inducer motor I got an used one replaced it for $120 and also the gas valve so these gas valves were like used $45 but in general the machine is running fine uh, this was the first error I got in two months and also there was uh, water logging issue or water not draining properly in the p-trap so i have another video for that to how to take the p-trap off clean it up and uh, assemble it further and that error code was error code 42 and the fan 
the inducer fan would come on and then it would turn off in five to eight seconds and it should show uh, error code 42. So hopefully if you get an error code 25, hopefully this will solve your problem. There might be other issues and you may want to consult the manual for that. Hope you enjoyed the video, subscribe to my channel and if you like it, uh, click on the like button and uh, hope uh, this will help you in your troubleshooting.